Hello everyone, it's Red Herring, and this is a side-by-side -side comparison between the 2014 EVA Cup and the 2016 EVA Cup. I'd like to say thank you to Bubbles who requested this video, and if you found something helpful in this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. The first thing that I noticed was the Anagin company changed their silicone supplier, and with the newer version, it has this smooth, shiny finish to it. And the older version is a little frosted and doesn't have that shine. Changing the silicone made the colors of the cups a lot more vivid, for those of you that like the colors. So this is their blizzard blue color, and you can see it really nicely how that color is a lot more bright. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in the meadow green, and you can really tell on this one how that color just pops. Using the print on my thumbnail, I'm going to insert my thumb and press it against the silicone. Here is the secondary rim of the 2014 version, and you can just barely see the print on my thumb. If I move it up, you can see the print a lot better. But if I move it to the back, you totally lose my thumb altogether. With the 2016 version, if I do the same thing, here's my thumb up against the secondary rim, and you can make it out pretty well. If I move it up to the bowl of the cup, you can see it a lot better. And if I move my thumb to the back of the cup, you can still see my thumb, or you can still at least make it out. So this cup has a good translucence to it, and for those of you that like to be able to see through your cup, they achieved that. I know that the Anakin Company chose to stay with the 50 Shore rating, which is the softness-firmness factor of a cup. Um, but this new silicone is a little bit more gummy, not in the sense that it's sticky or anything, but it is more squishy and pliable than the 2014 version. Both of them still have a nice springy silicone or a nice springy spring back to the silicone, but the newer version does feel a little bit softer just because it is that uh, squishy, gummy silicone. So when I do the squish test on these two large cups, it does seem like the um, 2016 reads a little bit softer. But when I squish them in my fingertips like this, they do feel very similar. Um, if you are interested in the squish tests, I did do the small and the large in two different videos, and I will leave those links at the end of this video. Since I already cut the stem off of my 2014 version, I can't really comment on the stem, so I'm going to go directly to the grip rings. It looks like they raised the grip rings on the 2016 version just a tad off of the cup. So if I bring it up close, you can see the sides here and here. This one does look like it's off of the cup more. If I scrape my nail over the 2014 version, it gives a more mute sound. And if I do the same thing on the 2016 version, that sound is a lot more clear. For those of you that may be sensitive to all of these bumps and ridges, you'll be happy to hear that they did round these off. Uh, the original version also had rounded rings, but they did this to hopefully minimize the se sensitivity issue. Moving down on the cup to the secondary rim, on the 2014 version, it looks like uh, they took this edge here and just rounded it off. With the 2016 version, it looks like they did a different transition where uh, the silicone goes in a diagonal 
uh, direction and kind of finishes it off so that the cup and the the secondary rim just has this uh, ramp, if you will. So I'm going to bring this up and hopefully you can see that there's a, that diagonal piece right here. And on the 2014, there's just a rounded off bump. So again, I think that they might have done that for sensitivity uh, or to minimize sensitivity issues. This has a smoother transition than the 2014 version. At this rim here, they did have a, a seam that went all the way around the outside of the rim, and you can see it against the dark of my fingertip here, that there is a little piece of silicone that sticks out. And that wasn't too bad. I could barely feel it with my fingertips, but it was there on the 2014 version. On the 2016 version, they really cleaned that up nicely. So they brushed it away. Um, actually, I don't know exactly how they cleaned this up, but you can see against the dark of my fingertip that there is no extra little lip from a seam. You can see that there is a a sign that there was a seam there but you can't feel it so they really finished that off nicely with the newer version. On the 2014 version they had very minimal markings on the inside of the cup. There were no other markings on the outside but they have the two capacity measurements there and if I turn the cup they have a number two right there and it's kind of hard to see. On the 2016 version they added quite a bit of markings and you can see them all right now uh, but bringing it up close here is their logo their trademarked logo name Eva Cup and the capacity in ounces and turning it there's a visible two to indicate that this is a larger size 2. They have made in USA and right under that it has the capacity in milliliters. I'm sorry for all the dirt they've been kind of uh, sitting on my desk here. Uh, they have a, another 2 on the opposite side so you know right off the bat that it is a size 2. Uh, and these are all really low rise, so rinsing out the cup, you shouldn't have to really rub any strings or clots out. I've never had any problems with just running the tap under, or running it under the tap and just giving it a swish and dumping it out. I don't ha normally have any problems getting this clean um, or having to actually rub and scrub it with one of those dental brushes. So um, really nice that they they thought about that. They did leave a nice piece of seal between the stem and the bowl of the cup on the new version. So on the old version you couldn't cut the stem completely off because you would hit the um, actual bowl of the cup making your cup useless. So on the newer version they did include a thicker piece of seal or piece of meat and it is down to this grip ring here. I don't know if you can see the different color. There you go. So there is a color change there and this area is the um, seal between the stem and the cup. So you can cut the, the stem of this cup quite low onto the cup without actually puncturing the cup itself. So you want to cut right above this um, first grip ring here and then just kind of file it down little by little until you reach uh, the lowest point that you're comfortable with. The measurements, the height, the uh, diameter, the capacity between the larges and the smalls are all the same, so nothing in the measurements have changed between these cups. 
So there you have it, the side-by-side -side comparison of the 2014 EVA Cup and the 2016 EVA Cup. I hope I answered any questions you might have had about them. Uh, if I missed something or if you had additional questions, please leave me a comment below or you can find me on Facebook. Also, don't forget to enter to win their international giveaway for one free EVA Cup. Um, I'm pretty sure that is of your choice of size and color. So I will leave the Facebook post in the description below as well as all of their information, the Anakin Company information. And until I see you next time, take care.